We are back today for another new episode of Pack Attack, and guys, it's it's getting really real. Two wins away as we sit here right now. 23 rating points away. I guess there is an outside chance that a plus 23 rating could be done with one more win, but all the way up through the 800s, I've been gaining like 15 or 16 rating points at a time, so it's probably going to take this win and one more after it. But I've been playing out of my mind lately. I'm scoring runs basically accidentally. I've never hit this well maybe in my entire life on this game. It's all coming together at the perfect time, and we just got to maintain that for two more games and then we've done it. Last episode is at 18 likes right now, so that's gonna give us another 1,800 stubs to go directly towards our packs after today's game. So hey, I mean, if everything goes according to plan, this might be the last time I ever need to ask for likes to add stubs to the next episode. We also added a relatively low by recent standards, 37,986 stubs to the bank, bringing us up now to an almost perfect 333,323. So I definitely could go trout fishing again, but that'd be to replace Trey Turner, and Trey Turner hit a two-run shot in the last game, a pretty big two-run shot. He's been good. I don't really know why I was so keen on replacing him. Like, look at those numbers. I think it was just the fact that he was doing so good, like batting way over 400 while we were playing on All-Star. So now that's kind of creeping back down to... 300 but that still doesn't mean he's been cold that still doesn't mean he's playing bad and i kind of get a sense that I, this team has been so good as it is i almost want to keep it intact as much as i can so we're not going to go trout fishing today but we are going to spin another program wheel just because that's kind of like a tradition at that at this point to start an episode with a program wheel spin i did add one more pack from the uh, event i got the uh, set four event rewind pack but at this point i mean i'm still 10 wins away from the final pack we need and you know after today if i win today i'm only one game away from world series so i don't even know if i'm gonna go for that last pack guys but let's get our program wheel up on the screen spend another forty thousand stubs to spin it and what are we going to be adding for today the okay i thought that was my brand new pack but it's not it is though the first time we've actually landed on any of these event rewind packs of course it's the earliest one i unlocked but at least some of my event grinding is somewhat worth it even though this pack is probably the worst uh, I shouldn't say the worst. It just has the least amount of 99s that any of these event rewind packs have, but uh, it does have some good ones. The one that I was focusing in on for pretty much since I unlocked this pack would have been this 99 Fernando Tatis Jr. Lightning card from August 2020. Good all around, except the contact against lefties is a little lower than you'd want it. Diamond Fielder, wherever you put them, great speed good swing. It's just now, once again, kind of a matter of where do I put him? I do actually have an idea, though. I do have an idea, but before we just lock in and take him, I just want to make sure there's nobody else I'd rather take. This Josh Bell is a pretty good switch hitter, but probably not better than Tatis all around. Another good switch hitter in Santander. Definitely could think about taking him. I'll just be honest right now. My uh, my plan would be to kind of replace Christian Yelich because he probably more so than Trey Turner has been the one who's gone a bit colder lately. So Santander would work just moving him straight to left field. This David Wright's also really good. It would work the same way. I would just move Nolan Jones from third base out to left field. This is tempting. I always kind of thought if we landed on the season two collections, it would be that David Wright that I would want. But this David Wright is probably a better hitter and he's still decent enough in the field to play third he also has six quirks whereas tatis doesn't have any yeah and right has double 125 power 125 contact against righties so he's just as good as tatis is against righties i think his contact was like 109 against lefties so he's better than tatis against lefties also i don't remember was his clutch 125 it's 125 yeah you know what i think i'm talking myself into this 
this. I think I want this David Wright. I was this whole time. I always thought if I landed on this pack, it'd pretty much automatically be Tatis. But the more I look at it, the more I'm leaning towards David Wright, and I'm, I think that's who I'm going to go with here. I mean, I, I better have made my decision because I already opened the pack. There's no backing out now. So yeah, I think this is the move, guys. 99 overall. Home run derby. David Wright is getting added to the pack attack squad. I guess, you know, now that I think about it, if I was ready to be replacing Yelich anyway, I could have gone trout fishing again. There's There would have been no reason not to, but there's no guarantee we pull trout. We tried seven times last episode and didn't pull him, so there's no guarantee that trying a bunch again would get him. Now the question is, would I want Yelich on the bench over either, either Soler or Berger? Probably over Berger, if it's over one of the two. Yeah, you know what? I think I will. It makes a bit more sense to me to have two lefties and two righties on the bench. Another outfield option too, if we need it. They're both parallel too, so we're not losing anything there. And also, as much as I hate it, and as much as I've been proven wrong in the past, but the last two games where we've had to face Randy Johnson, big lefty, Corey Seager struggled. So if we face Randy again, I might need to think about bringing in either Jordan Lawler or Solaire and, and benching Seager for the day. Kind of a platoon situation. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to commit to that. I kind of want Corey Seager to be along for the ride all the way till the end. So I probably won't even do that. Shouldn't have even brought it up. It'll be Mike Musina taking the mound for us today. We're going up against Roy Halladay, so not a big lefty. I'll actually be very curious to see how difficult Roy Halladay is to hit on, or at least what I assume is going to be Hall of Fame difficulty. Flawless 12-0 icon, 76-13 record. Maybe this won't be on Hall of Fame. Let's uh let's let's take a quick peek here. Okay, no, we are on Hall of Fame. This dude's just, you know, he, he might be a little good on the sticks. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the tough part with this Roy Halliday. He's gonna break out pitches like that. Ah, and then he goes too far inside. I was actually late. Under it and late. Alright, David Wright. First A B. Let's let's make a difference here. Oh, he hits it on a line, but of course is right to somebody. If I'm going to swing like that with David Wright, though, I made the right choice. This will be the true test. I have to assume a guy with this good of a record is, is going to be quite the hitter. Ah, that's the scariest result I've ever seen. That's the pitch. That's the pitch that one way or another gets everybody, and it at least gets them early in the game until they're able to see it and catch on. And that's the first time I throw it to this guy, and he's taking me deep. Okay, he's selling out for the sinker in, though. Got that way inside, broke his bat. That's a good sign. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is not a fun time. Not only has he hit two pretty well-placed pitches out, but he's, he's working the pitch count. He's made me throw 17 pitches to the first two batters to go deep twice on, on really good pitches. Like, I, it's not even me missing my spot. Both pitches he's taken out have been exactly right where I want them. Okay, and now he's missing every single spot, even with perfect releases. There's no reason that should have been a four-pitch walk. Oh, come on. We need a double play. All right. As big to get that and keep it to only 30 pitches on the inning. My God. I'm not getting discouraged, though. This is two runs in the first. By no means means I'm out of this thing. Because there we go. I don't even need to make a good swing. I think... Oh, wait. Really? Okay. I, I could have sworn that came off the bat harder than that. But uh, sure. Fine. That one's gone, though. Yeah, Vlad is going to leave no doubt to that one. Could have tied it up if we got the help that I thought we were going to get from this stadium with Babe. Man, that's a pitch that has to be destroyed. Like, if there's one pitch to be ready for, it's that one, and I've been behind it two different times now. Oh my god, what am I doing? See, he's not really giving me the option to be patient. I know that one's slightly out of the zone. You definitely don't need to swing at that on the first pitch, but for the most part, he's pounding the zone. Honestly, though, that should be a good thing. Like, long term in this game, the more strikes he throws, probably the more chance I'll have to make good swings on the ball. And I need to figure something out here because Musina is either, I don't know, he's either hittable in the zone 
or this guy is taking anything that ends up slightly out of the zone. There we go. We need that. We need absolutely perfect dots. That's the only way I'll be able to get this guy. There we go. I really want a, a curve to get him because he's almost chased a couple. Of, okay, well, or... Okay, there we go. We need more of that, more weak contact. Maybe he can only hit with the lefties. That doesn't really help at all because he has plenty of lefties. But look at this. He is, I mean, perfect eye. Literally a perfect eye right now with the lefty hitters, it feels like. The righties, I'm able to get chasing some things. He didn't even make a good swing on that, and it's going to be extra bases. Look at that. See, and we get that again. It is. Righties are outs. Lefties are extra base hits. Okay, he almost got that. That was not supposed to end up anywhere near the zone, really. Only the one run allowed. That's better than two. That's progress. See, the one bad thing right now is I'm pretty sure that this Roy Halladay has five pitches. And I've only seen two of them so far. And that's the second splitter. He's been all cutter and sinker and he's thrown two splitters. He's still got two more pitches left in there that I haven't even seen. That has to be, see, that's the kind of thing though. Like, like sure, I could be making better swings, but I've also had a couple of really nice ones not get down. We don't need that. I'm already gonna struggle enough as it is. God, he just, he can't miss. That sinker on that corner or that edge will not miss. And then he gets me up and in with it. I, I, uh, I'm struggling. And there's another out to a righty. Okay, you know, that's fine. It, it sucks that he missed as far on the outside edge of the par as he could have. Maybe if he got it closer to the zone, it could have gotten a swing. But I don't know, man. I mean, I guess switch hitters doesn't make it better. I was going to say maybe pitch around the lefties, attack the righties. Oh, we got a rollover. I don't think this will be two, but we can get the lead runner. Yeah. As soon as I saw that one wasn't getting inside, I knew that was gone. So close. One strike away from getting out of an inning without giving up a run. But now, now I'm down 5-1. I do think this will be it for Mike Musina. Just try and get him out of this third inning. Okay, or... Jesus Christ, man. There we go. End your day on a perfect spot. Celebrate it. Sure, you only gave up six runs in three innings. This needs to be a big inning. Like, I, we, we need to put up at least three. If we don't respond this inning, I don't know. God, I just... I haven't been guessing this whole game. I've just been kind of trying to react. But I was guessing there, and of course I guess wrong. He goes, he doubles up on the cutter. I don't think he's doubled up really on a pitch yet. I shouldn't say that. He has. I don't know. The best thing about how I've been hitting lately has been my ability to work the counts and, and take close pitches, make them throw pitches. And this guy, for the most part, early in the count is just pounding the zone and not giving me the chance to do that. And then I take it because that pitch has so much break and it still doesn't break enough. Okay, there we go. That's something. Vlad, that's through the hole also. All right, maybe a little two-out rally of my own. We got Seager coming up. A big swing here. That'll be our three runs. That, no, you can't. You can't do that. No. That that's a that's a two run double down the line. Like I I don't know what else to say. That maybe not double, but it's two runs. Like don't don't get me wrong, guys. I'm being outplayed here by far. But I don't need three good timing lineouts, especially in a situation like that where we could add two on the board. Again, one strike away from a scoreless inning. I know he didn't score yet on that, but a perfect. Oh my God. Oh my God, Felix. Felix. I was sitting here like, all right, I could throw Felix out here for another inning or at least the start of another inning. There is no way that that left. That's six, two run outs. Or two run outs. I, don't, I can't do anything today. Two run outs. What does that mean? Huh. That's the nastiest sinker I think I've ever seen. It, it looks okay. And that's not going to do anything. We're lagging hard here. 
I don't like this. Oh no, I, I actually really have a bad feeling that he just lagged out and I'm about to pick up a win on this game. I, I don't want that to be the case. Oh no, that's what it tells you when your opponent loses connection. No, please don't give me the win. Please do not give me the win for that game. Oh no, they did. I I don't even know what to say. I said last game, I pretty much won on accident because I got so many lucky results at the plate. This is what winning on accident looks like. I, I don't know. I really can't explain to you guys how much I hate that that just happened. Like, I don't know. It, it, sometimes you would think, oh, what a break. Get all excited. Like, yeah, I was going to lose that game and now I won. That's not how I feel. You don't want to win games like that. Not when I've been playing so good and making World Series is the goal. And I want to make World Series because I'm playing well. You don't want to win like this. I guess as much as there's nothing you can do when you're the one that lags out and loses, there's nothing I can do here. We're, we're one win away. Next episode will be the first ever World Series game on Pack Attack, and I really hope that uh, something like that doesn't happen again. I mean, I guess it's worth saying that like normally in a situation like that where we don't finish five innings, that's uh at least by the rules i've set up that's the situation where we'd play a second game but i'm not about to have our world series game be the second game tacked onto an episode so we're we're saving that for its own its own thing so then with that in mind let's go ahead and add up what we made today hitting is gonna make me a whole 1500 stubs pitching is gonna be a negative 4300 and then the bonus category is 5000 695 technically that's now seven wins in a row with eight parallel ones ten twos no threes three fours and one five for a multiplier today of times 1.475 and a final stub count of 4270 so uh all we're gonna be able to earn from that is four show packs and if it weren't for that that uh disconnection this actually would have been the first game that i can remember ever going negative in the final stub count like we've had a couple bad games we've had a couple very low stub counts i don't think it's ever happened before i worked where I've went negative and today would have been that day. If this guy didn't lag out, chances are he's finishing me off by mercy rule in the bottom of the fifth. I wouldn't have had anything. I would not have had anything to keep that from going negative. And I don't know what happens in that situation because it's never happened. I don't know, guys, a very weird feeling here at the end of this episode. Like, on one hand, I should be excited because I did technically what I needed to do and bump the rating up to the point where we're one win away, 895. But I just, I hate how it happened and I, I can't feel excited right now. Hopefully, by the next time I sit down to record next episode the excitement will be there it'll be all about making world series this will be behind me and we can get the job done so once again guys this could be the last time i'll ever need to ask for likes on next episode and i mean today the likes kind of saved us a bit so they're still important but uh thanks for watching again today thanks for stopping by and guys next episode it could be it i'll see you in our world series game